Hello guys and welcome back to the Thermal Mods series. In this video we'll talk about the Arboreal Extractor. And um, this is a machine that will suck fluid out of trees, basically. Well, there are a few, few variants of this. Um, we can also call it a tapper, by the way. Um, so, how does it work? Well, you place it next to a tree and then it will run by itself. You do not need to feed it with power. It will run anyway. You can see it has no internal power buffer. You can't upgrade it. See? So, it really doesn't have many uses. Uh, but there are a few different fluids you can get out of it. Sap, resin and mushroom stew actually. So um, yeah, let's go and, and check it out. So this is how, how it looks when it's working uh, for a reel. Um, I have a spruce standing here. So that means that we are getting resin out of it. And there are different trees uh, that will, well, in this pack there are only two different types of uh, out, output, sap or resin. And oak and dark oak will uh, produce sap and then the spruce, birch, uh, jungle I think, or there are a few, they will produce resin. And then of course the giant mushrooms will produce mushrooms too. But there is a few things you need to think about. Um, for example, this doesn't work. These are just uh, blocks of wood that are placed down and that doesn't work. The extractor will actually keep track of if it's a real tree, like this one. I have grown this with bone meal from a sapling, and that's valid, of course. Uh, so is the mushroom, and uh, I think it works with the red one as well. And then this as well. So oh, everything here is, uh, is valid. They are grown by, well, kind of natural, <laughs> in natural ways. Uh, so that works. So think about that, and no need for power as I said, so the only thing you need to do is actually to output the, uh, the, the fluid that you get. And another thing to know about is that you can use fertilizer with it. So let's go over here and we can actually empty that one. So normal phytogrow can be placed inside. You can use rich or fluxed, uh, and that will increase the the output speed, I think, or the amount that you get out of it out per per rotation. So there you got the first one. Uh, so it, it works in cycles, and uh, I think it's like 500 ticks is the normal one uh, right here. So 500 ticks for one operation. That's the first one that we saw and then when it used up the fertilizer uh, that started the second, second cycle, so to say. So great. Um, but there are th some things to think about when you, when, when you try to uh, use more than one extractor. And that is that when you have one to a tree you'd have a 500 uh, tick cycle, but if you're using several to, uh, to a tree, then that time increases. So you can see according to this, this table, with the two extractors, every operation takes 750 ticks, and with three or more, it takes 1000 ticks per operation. So this is what I've done in this setup to, uh, to compare the output from one each on these trees and then four on this tree. Now this isn't perfectly consistent and I don't know why it doesn't behave like I hoped that it would. Um, as you could see, 500 ticks or 1000 ticks. So I was expecting these four to produce as much as these two together. But here I have 19.9 and here I have 21.5. But in the beginning, and this is just so I would start them at the same time. Uh, but in the beginning, it was actually these two that was faster and now um, 
And now this one produces more. So uh, I'm not sure exactly what that means, but uh, just remember that it does matter if you have one or more per tree. Uh, for this type of tree, I think it can actually be quite good to have multiple because it doesn't. The, these trees actually take up quite a lot of space. Um, but you don't need to keep the leaves, by the way. You can actually remove almost all of them. I think you need to keep some on the at the top, but not on the sides. So I think if I, because I did some testing over there and by accident I removed too many leaves and uh, then it stopped working. So what do we do with the, with the output, you might ask? Well, the resin, well, resin, sap and mushroom stew. The mushroom stew is perhaps the simple one. As you might expect, you fill your bowls with it and then you get mushroom stew that you would get from, uh, from the normal recipe. It's the same thing. So, uh, so that's pretty simple. Uh, and then we have the resin. The resin can be refined in a fractioning still and uh, be turned into tree oil. And this tree oil can in in the next turn be used as a fuel in a compression dynamo. So they can get 400,000 RF from one bucket of tree oil which comes from, yeah, and so on. So good power source and then the rosin as the byproduct can be used for uh, as fuel. That's perhaps the most uh, useful part but in some various recipes to make torches Sticky pistons, basically it can replace uh, normal slime in, in some ways. And then the final, the sap, which is used to um, um, make rich phytogrow out of normal phytogrow. So you have seen this before in a previous video, so nothing strange there. And so to wrap up, um, that it's not much more to say, but you might have an idea of what we can do with these uh, because it takes no power to extract the fluid and we can refine it to a power generator generation fluid um, so of course you can do that actually i wanted to save that for a different uh, video but let's make a sneak peek of uh, that setup so here's the uh, my tree farm with eight spruces on each side they will I'll put their, their, their resin into this fractioning still and it will be refined and then used for these compression dynamos which will turn it into steam and so on. And this actually produces quite a lot of, uh, of power. So 16 trees, well you can see it's actually it's a quite a good outcome. Anyway. I think that's pretty much it for the arboreal extractor. If you have any questions or comments, you know where to leave them. And I hope I see you in the next video. Take care and bye bye.